Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you for being with me again today. Uh, it seems like the Azovstal steel plant in Mariupol uh, still has some more secrets or at least uh, reasons for articles to be written. The article that I found uh, today talks about the Russian army, uh, obviously, who took, uh, took over the steel plant after the Ukrainians surrendered and they started finding bodies and uh, it's very interesting how the bodies were found and um, there are going to be some claims uh, well uh, let's read the article and see um, what this is what is this all about so the article comes from um, fox news and it says uh, it comes from may 31st 2022 by timothy nerosi and this is the title, Russia claims to find bodies of 152 Ukrainian fighters in Mariupol steel plant. Well, okay, you might think, oh, well, they were killed, probably they are scattered around and like in a war, you know. But nope, uh, this is what we can read here. The Russian military of defense claims to have discovered the bodies of approximately 152 dead combatants in a van rigged to detonate. Russian officials reported finding the dozens of bodies in an Azovstal Azov steel plant after successfully advanced into the taking the Ukrainian city of Mariupol. The stash of corpse kept in a van was reportedly, reportedly rigged with a booby trap meant to detonate when tempered with, according to Russian authorities. And I'm quoting, Ukrainian troops left behind a van with 152 dead militants in underground facilities of the Azovstal steel complex in Mariupol and planted mines underneath them on Kiev's direct instructions as a provocation against Russia, the Russian state news agency claimed kind of like a uh, far reach, don't you? Don't you think? The Russian government has not yet produced concrete evidence. Now is the, the covering coming from the Fox News. So let's say um, I'm a Russian general or Russian colonel and say, okay, we found these dead bodies and blah, 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 blah. And then you have the Fox News or the Western mass media coming and say, well, that's no evidence, no investigation. They're just bragging and don't forget, you know, the, a lot of Russians are uh, actually, um, you know, they are investigated for war crimes and blah, 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 blah. So they cover. Now, let's say this is a Ukrainian um, general, I mean, Ukrainian general right now or colonel. I say, OK, we found this evidence that this happened. And the Fox News would say hey, another another ev piece of evidence that the Russians committed war crimes in Ukraine. And then they build the whole thing. Yes. And the. We know that they already have indicted a few soldiers who agreed to, uh, you know, to the charges and they said, yes, yeah, they confessed and test them, you know, the testimony is provided, you know. So, you see, it goes, if it's the other side, you have, you, you have, you're skeptical, which it should be, obviously. But with this side, no skepticism, no, go and take it and run with it, you know. So, yeah, that's true. <clears throat> There's no, uh, no evidence yet. Uh, all right, the Russian government has not yet produced concrete evidence of the alleged incidents. You see, they know how, it, how to use the right words when they have to use the right words. Otherwise, they use, you know, um, all kind of um, synonyms, you know, the, all kind of euphemisms to make it look nicer a little bit. So here, correct, he said, the Russian government has not yet produced concrete evidence. Correct. Perfect. To the point of the alleged Incident, correct. It's alleged incident. It's not uh, proven, nothing yet. <clears throat> you will not see this on the other side most of the time. Um, and I always point out these kind of little tricks, uh, which tells me that the person who wrote Mr. Timothy Nerosi is not an idiot, but he is a uh, different kind of person who has a little, uh, you know, inclination towards one side which is fine but at least uh, tell us straight well i'm with these guys don't pretend but being uh, 
news outlet and a whatever. Let's go for and see what this guy is saying. Authorities cite as, and I'm uh, quoting, interrogation of captured Azov battalion militants, uh, end quote, as their source of information on the van and its contents. So they interrogated the captured Azov battalion uh, uh, fighters. They said, okay, that's some over there, some over there. Now, I'm quoting again. When examining the van, the Russian combat engineers uncovered four mines planted beneath the bodies of the dead Ukrainian servicemen with a total amount of explosives sufficient to wipe out all the bodies remaining in the van. End quote. A spokesman for the defense ministry said, a Russian military court confirmed the dismissal of 115 soldiers in the National Guard unwilling to assist the in invading forces in Ukraine. Well, the, the guardsmen were, stacked, were sacked earlier this month for their refusal to participate in an operation in Ukraine, according to reports. So after uh, being terminated, the soldiers appealed the decision, right? Now terminated like, okay, you're dismissed. The court's ruling in, is the first confirmation from the Russian side of the conflict that soldiers are effectively refusing to take part in the invasion. Well, this was uh, an extra, an extra cover up for the story. It has nothing to do with that story. It's nothing to do with that story. It just goes to okay. But by the way, the Russians are doing, uh, you know, not doing very great. All the all this. Things that I that I read in the past, I don't know, thirty five seconds was about. Okay, what does that have to do with? Uh, okay, what does this have to do with uh, finding that the, they they found those bodies over there? It's just not related. It's just and I after this comes some more and I'm not going to read that. It's just how do you call it? Uh, spinning covering. Look at the articles how they are uh, created. They start with the uh, information written, as I said, using certain uh, uh, synonyms and words that have certain kind of connotations, depending on what side uh, they report on. And then um, at the end of it, they let you with, uh, with uh, the same. Okay, this is the invasion, the crude invasion, unprovoked invasion of the Russian armies, blah, 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 blah. blah. So when you, when you leave the article, the last piece of information remains in your brain. The same when you watch news. Look, the, the, the sequence or the frequency of the news is about what? 10, 15 seconds. And they give you about 25 pieces of information. Bam, 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 news. And you remain with maybe just the last ones. The last one. You don't have time to look back and say, hey, wait a second. What was the first, the second, the third? That's that, that your brain catches that, but you don't memorize it as consciously. You don't remember, oh, what the, well, I know they said something. Uh, the same here. They try to, uh, you know, they start with the beginning, boom, 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 boom. And at the end, they let you with whatever they want you to remain with. The brain would remember the last part. You're going to be like, oh, okay. Like a song. You remain with the last part of the song, not with the beginning of the song, usually. Uh, or at least with, uh, you know, the repetition of the whatever the, the song has to say. Well, interesting. Uh, I'm obviously I want to see more information on the 152 uh, combatants uh, uh, placed on top of a booby trap that's ready to explode when the Russians will come and try to get him or something. Um, uh, I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm just saying that uh, that could be stacked by by the Russians. Let's be you now, uh, you know, how should I put it? Uh, honest and look from both sides and I mean, well, okay maybe there are maybe the ukrainians did it okay or maybe the russians did it how do we know we don't know how can we know the russians will come will take pictures or videotape the whole thing and then say okay these are this but we don't know who did that who did that they can claim whatever they want but that's how it happens and not only on one side of the spectrum but on the other one as well well, thank you for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.